In this video, I'm going to teach you a famous classic yo-yo trick, Rock the Baby, and it looks like this. And in addition to this, I want to teach you a couple different variations that will just make doing this trick a whole lot more fun. And one of these variations I just learned today, so you've probably never seen this one before. I sure hadn't, but that'll be the last one. Uh, I think that you'll really like that one. So let's just start with basic Rock the Baby. Uh, when you learn any trick like this, this is called a picture trick, what you want to do is you just want the yo-yo to hang down at the bottom of the string. That way you're not pressured to try to figure it out so fast while the yo-yo is spinning. So just let your yo-yo hang down at the bottom. And this trick just has three steps. The first thing you want to do is take your non-yo-yo hand, the one where the string is not attached, and you want to grab the string right about in the middle. And as you do this trick more, you'll figure out exactly where uh, you either want it right in the middle or a little bit above where the middle of the string is. So once you've grabbed it with your whole hand, don't just pinch it gently, but grab the string. Next, you want to take your yo-yo hand and you want to pinch the string a couple of inches above the yo-yo. Again, you don't want to get too close to the yo-yo and you don't want to be too far away. You just want to get a couple of inches and you'll see why. So the third step and the final step is you're going to bring your top hand toward you. Don't bring it away from you because that'll kind of create this really awkward hold that uh, you just don't want to rock it like that. So bring it toward you and you're going to point your fingers forward and as you do that, you're going to spread them out, and you'll see that now the yo-yo is able to rock right through the cradle. Now, something you may notice is that the lower the yo-yo is in the cradle, that's where the widest part of the cradle is. And so you can actually let the string slip through your fingers a little bit so it can rock as low as possible, and that way it's less likely that it will hit the sides of the yo-yo. So what you want to do when you're practicing tricks like this is you want to kind of work on them a couple of times before you actually try it with the yo-yo spinning, so you're just going to grab, pinch, and then flip it toward you. And once you feel like you can do that pretty mindlessly, then you can wind your yo-yo up and you can actually give it a try. Now the yo-yo is actually going to help you out a little bit if it's spinning, so let me show you what that looks like. When you throw the yo-yo, you can see that it kind of stays in place, and you already know that, but that helps with Rock the Baby because it makes the yo-yo a little bit thinner if you rock it straight. So you're going to grab, pinch, flip it toward you, and see how uh, it's set up so that it is very narrow in relation to the cradle as opposed to if I rocked it this way Then it's going to be really really wide. It's going to be harder to rock through The other thing that's cool is if you rock it through this way Then the string is not going to be touching the sides of the yo-yo Which means that it's not going to be killing the spin if you rock the yo-yo through sideways like this where the yo-yo is at the wrong angle Every time you rock it the string is pushing into the side of the yo-yo a little bit and pretty quickly that kills the spin and it'll uh, make you look ridiculous because you can't do Rock the Baby. So again, just wind your yo-yo up, and um, if you happen to throw it at a little bit of an angle, then just turn your cradle to line it up with the yo-yo, and then you can just rock it right through. Now another cool thing about Rock the Baby is if you have a very responsive yo-yo, when you drop it, it'll immediately return to your hand. And so when you show it off to people, that's kind of impressive. They think the whole trick is already done because they can see the cradle, and then it's just right back in your hand all of a sudden and that gives it kind of that wow factor. So once you have mastered Rock the Baby, there are a few different variations. The first two I'm going to show you are really easy and they're really silly, uh, but they're, they're kind of worth learning. They're good for a laugh. And then the other two are a little bit harder, but they're pretty impressive, so I think that those are worth learning too. So the first one is called the Dizzy Baby, and you can see this one is pretty simple. All you're going to do is rock it on either side of the cradle like this, as if you know the baby just can't keep its balance, it just doesn't know where it's going. Uh, when you do this, just make sure you um, don't wrap the string around one side of the cradle or else you might end up getting into a knot. If you just kind of weave in and out, then that'll keep you from getting a knot. Now the next one is even more fun, but also pretty simple. In this one, you actually want to throw it the exact way I told you not to throw it. So you want to throw it sideways. And this one is called Rock the Baby in the Dark. And what you want to do with this one is you want to let the yo-yo run into the sides of the cradle like this, almost like it's bumping into it. So you can be like, ah, oh, 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 ah, mm, uh, you know, you, uh, you got to be careful when you rock your baby in the dark. All right. So this uh, third variation is a little bit harder, like I said, but this is probably my favorite. This one is called throw the baby out of the cradle. That one looks like this. Now, some people call this version of rock the baby dizzy baby, but I think throw the baby out of the cradle is funnier. And then I can use dizzy baby for that other trick. So with this one, all you're going to do is just start off by making Rock the Baby just like this. And then uh, with your pinch at the top, just kind of make a fist with the rest of your fingers. That'll get them out of the way. 
And all you're going to do is rotate the baby through the cradle three or more times. So you just go one, two, three, and then if you toss it up into the air, then you can actually position your palm upward and the yo-yo will just roll right down into it. So again, you're just going to make your fist, rock the baby through, one, two, three, and then maybe an extra one. And you can see my hand is right in position, the yo-yo will just return right to it. Now, as I said, this last trick I only discovered today as I was doing some routine yo-yo research, and so I'm super excited to show you this one, but for this one, I am going to need to take off my hat just to show it to you. All right, so what you want to do for this trick is just throw your sleeper, and then you are going to lay the string on the opposite side of your head. So if you're right-handed, you lay it on the left side of your head, and you're going to bend over a little bit. And what you want to do is pinch the string a couple inches above the yo-yo, just like you would for Rock the Baby. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get clearance for your nose. And so depending on how long your nose is, you might need a little more clearance. So again, you're just going to pinch the yo-yo a couple inches above the yo-yo, and then you're just going to look up at the sky, and you can do a one-handed Rock the Baby, just like that. Now when you dismount, you could, I suppose, just drop the yo-yo and hope for the best, but I usually bend over and then kind of slowly release it from my head so that it's just a little bit safer. So those are four easy ways to do Rock the Baby.